course, it goes further. So in this one, they said, can they understand um, the inner monologue, the things you're saying to yourself in your own mind? Mind you, by the way, when you dream, your dream, like your visual cortex runs in reverse, so your dreams are no longer safe. Um, but we'll try this. So they had people watch a video and just narrate what was going on in the video in their mind. So there's a woman, she gets hit in the back, she falls over. This is what the computer reconstructed the person thinking. See a girl, looks just like me, get hit in the back, and then she is knocked off. So our thoughts like, are starting to be decoded. Yeah. Just think about what this means for authoritarian states, for instance. Or if you want to generate images that maximally activate your pleasure sensor, anything else. Okay, but let's keep going, right? To really get the sense of the combinatorics of this. How about, can we go from Wi-Fi radio signals, you know, sort of like the Wi-Fi routers in your house, they're bouncing off radio signals that work sort of like sonar. Can you go from that to where human beings are, to images? So what they did is they had... Um, you know, a camera looking at a space with people in it. Um, that's sort of like coming in from one eye. The other eye is the radio signals, so sonar from the uh, Wi-Fi router. And they just learn to predict, like, this is where the human beings are. Then they took away the camera. So all the AI had was the language of radio signals bouncing around a room. And this is what they're able to reconstruct. Real-time 3D pose estimation. Right? So suddenly, AI has turned every Wi-Fi router into a camera that can work in the dark, specially tuned for tracking living beings. 